Hello, this is Mark Mitchell from uh, Wizard Strategy, uh, back again with another review of a dealer locator on a building material company's website. And today we're going to look into the world of HVAC, and we're going to take a look at uh, Ream, uh, at uh, Ream's locator. And so, as you can uh, see here, that uh, you know, Ream's got this uh, you know bold, bright. Uh, uh, website and uh, up here in the uh, top right corner I love it. it says find a pro that's great I also love the fact that down here uh, they do it again so here's you know find a pro product registration replacement parts so obviously uh, Ream recognizes the importance of this uh, making it easy for the customer to find where to buy, how to buy, find a pro, find a dealer, find a contractor, dis rep, distributor, whatever whatever you want. So, uh, so I thought this is working really well. Um, but when I go here, then, um, so, so first thing, Ream, as you're going to see, starts to like want way, way, way to me too much information. All right. Now, maybe at this point, I probably do know if I want one of these. So I'm just going to pick uh, heating and cooling. Uh, or so I have water heating, heating, cooling, pool and spa, show me all contractors. So uh, it probably does make sense maybe to ask for this. But you'll see as we go on that they they seem to want to know everything. Uh, now, the other one is I like the use of I keep mentioning the use of the top of the locator page. Find a pro when you need a smart, dependable contractor or plumber. Count on our team of independent professionals for your heating, cooling and water heating needs now so many companies just say locator find a pro find a dealer they don't say anything about why these people are good and i just go what you know what a missed opportunity so i think uh, reem did a nice job here now after having said that then i can see where the legal department got involved and basically you read all of this gobbledygook copy but basically says you know uh we don't really know if any of these guys are any good or not okay if there's a problem it's not our fault it's their fault and it's kind of you know it's like really you know you you I might see these on like one out of 20 locators and it seems like, you know, lawyers just need to justify their existence by going in here and uh, backing off, you know, making sure that anyway, do, doing what they're supposed to do. But I think that this is a little uh, overzealous. Um, I think there, if you feel a need to do it, I think there's probably other ways to do that than to turn me off at this point. Uh, now, I also liked right here this uh, uh, Ream Pro Partner, go with a pro, get the peace of mind that comes uh, with Ream's highest standards. So if I hit this, um, I, for some reason, get a PDF. I don't know why I do that, but I'm not a technical genius at all here. When you need an independent heating and cooling contractor you can trust, turn to the pros at Ream. Now, what, uh, what, I don't know what... I don't know why they had me do this, um, and uh, so we'll we'll figure out how to get rid of this or get out of here. Um, <laughs> anyway, so now of course I'm uh, I'm totally lost now. So we're going to go back here to Ream, get back to where we were, and so that's a, you know another problem is you know people can get somewhere on a website, and I certainly can do this, and then all of a sudden. I'm lost and I, I some I push the wrong button and and I'm I don't I, I've lost. So I like the fact so heating and cooling. So I, I like the fact that they one talk about their pros. I don't like about how this this legalese copy that uh, kind of says well not really. Um, and then uh, I like this, but I don't understand you know why you would take me to a PDF. Um, you know, why not this be either uh, spell it out here or open it up or, or have a, a, another page that opens uh, with this? I don't, don't quite understand that. So then we look here, we can see the max distance. That's fine. Available products. OK. Um, services and certifications, uh, pro partner, pro plumber, residential financing, commercial financing. I don't know why they at this point are Put picking up financing. Um, financing is after I've decided to do it. 
you know, it's one of those ones probably where we make so much money on financing, we want to promote it. Uh, I think you want to promote it at the right time. Um, and it says, click here if you sell or service our products and want to showcase your company on this page. Uh, you know, that, that, that's a, that's a, that is also not a bad idea because one of the biggest problems company has with locators is how to keep them updated and keep them accurate um, because your dealer, distributor, contractor, customers are all very busy and they are on um, many, many locators and they don't have time to go in and keep all these up. But, uh, but I like that little call out. I'm just going to check right here what happens when I go there. Join the team. Uh, why become a, a Ream Pro? Now, part of me wonders if, uh, you know, aren't, if I click there, aren't I already a, uh, uh, a Ream Pro? I, I don't know. It just uh, seemed to me if I was on here uh, and what you've asked me here is click here if you sell or service our products and want to showcase your company on the page. When I go there, it acts like I don't sell or service, but you're trying to sell me on it. So there's a, a you know, a incongruency there. Uh, now, so we go here and we've got uh, tipping hat plumbing um, heating and electric. Got to love that name. Uh, and so they're doing heating and cooling. Uh, they're a uh, top pro partner. And uh, they tell me once again what this means. Uh, you know, what what this, uh, you know, they're a market shaker. I don't know that to a homeowner I care about a market shaker. I do care about a probably uh, a top pro partner that's going to do a better job for me. A market shaker sounds like they're a really good salesman, like a used car salesman. Um, and then once again, do I really want to apply for financing before I've, <laughs> I've decided for sure I want Ream and I want tip, uh, tipping hat to do it? Um, and then I, uh, I did also really like how learn more. I go here and here is tipping hat electric. They have their own page. So, so really nice. Uh, you know, of course, it'd be nice if Tipping Hat had some photos here. Uh, but here's their uh, information um, and uh, special offers, and uh, uh, and there's nothing there. So I might, you know, wonder like, you know, what if that only appears if they have a special offer? Uh, because that's going to make me now want to leave Tipping Hat and go see. Do any of the other people have special offers? Um, and then I love the fact they've got featured, they've got reviews here. This is, this is fantastic. Uh, you know, some other, a few other leading sites go to this extent. Um, and then here is, um, uh, hours services offered and social media. And it says, you know, are you the business owner? Click here to add your business hours. I don't know how well that works. Um, I guess my, um, if you're the business owner, click here to add additional business info. That that's fine, I think. But I would look and say, okay, if if tipping hat is important to us, why, at a minimum, why isn't the uh, local rep uh, responsible for for keeping this up to date? Uh, and then once again about the business, there's no information here. Certification, there's no certifications, um, and you know, so get the help you need with tipping hat plumbing and electric. Now, just want to, so one, I'm going to hit on call now, see what happens, right? And uh, it is now going to say that uh, to send a number from here to your Android phone. What? Okay, I don't know. Okay, I just wanted to call them. Uh, let's try this again. No, okay. So, so this is a challenge also. Like, I'm sure if I were, let's say, 35, maybe 40 years younger, I would know what to do with that. Uh, I, I don't quite know what to do. Old white guy doesn't quite know, what do I do here? I, I want to call him, right? So I'll probably just go back here and take this number. Well, let's see what happens here. Nope. Okay. I'll probably go back here and take this number and dial it in myself. So we got to always be careful about, you don't, you know, the, the uh, tech savvy people that design websites and program things, they're all way up to date, but they sometimes forget there's people that, uh, like me, that uh, are trying to keep up with all these new ways of doing things and changes. Now, here's where I think they really start to fall down. And that's so I hit book now. Um, and so it says, uh, I, 
self-serve booking and live web chat booking. Now, I've, I've not seen this before, but I really liked it. So we'll take a look. So boom, okay. Uh, welcome to the Ream Pro Partner Network. How can I help? So like that. Now, that works easily, quickly, and so forth. Also, um, uh, Ream is keeping control of me, the lead. Right? They aren't just sending me off to Tipping Hat and don't know that I'm talking to Tipping Hat about a new HVAC system in which Tipping Hat might decide that, oh, you know, I'd rather sell them uh, something from Carrier or Train than Ream. And, and chances are Ream would never know what happened. Um, they don't know that, gee, we sent Tipping Hat five leads last month. How many resulted in sales, for example? But now this is where I really have a, a, a problem, the self-service booking. So it starts out, what can, you know, other sites I've been to are literally, you know, like I would like to talk to somebody and it helps you to schedule that. Uh, and that's it. But now let's say, what can we do for you? Start here. Okay. Select your issue. Ah, uh, let's say repair and install a new system. Then it says, now I have to go here and say, oh, I want to, uh, I want to replace an existing unit. Okay, then what type are you interested in? Both heating and cooling. What type of system do you have today? Right, and I will say uh, central AC. Then it says, what's the age? 10 or more years. Then it says, oh, get this, upload a video or photos. A 30 second area video of the problem is the best way for us to assign the best technician and send the right equipment. Now, I'm looking early on, I said, I want to replace the system. So what am I going to show you? My fuel bill. Um, I'm going to show you, uh, uh, I don't know, an old basement. Uh, you know, so you're asking me to go do some work here. Uh, maybe if this was a service call, but that isn't what you asked me for. Right? Or, I mean, I told you I wanted. Um, so I can skip this step. Uh, tell us more about your issue, right? Okay. You know, well, okay, fuel bill's too high, right? I'm going to say, uh, uh, I mean, I, I am losing patience here, okay? Uh, now, and then I put in my first name, my last name, my mobile number, okay? We'll send you a text message, current your appointment, provide you with other things if need be, right? Well, they're going to, like, are they going to confirm appointment? Or are they going to, like, help me select the time that's right for me? And, uh, you know, this is just, like, I, I, I just don't see how this can work, Um so I think Ream is um, is doing a, a number of things right. Uh, you know, primarily it starts once again at the beginning that they're they're doing a great job here with uh, Find a Pro, making it easy, and also doing it two times Find a Pro. When I get there, the other thing they're doing well is using uh, okay, asking me something fine because they do have a, a variety of products. Um, but find a pro telling me why their pros are great, but then also telling me, well, you know, here's all this stuff that we're not responsible in any way for, for anything. And so that's a, that to me is a, is a big, uh, big turnoff there. Um, and, uh, and so, you know, it's kind of funny, like, you know, this list of independent third party countries exercise independent judgment and are known to sell or service re is, uh, air conditioning equipment is strictly for your convenience, right? Uh, uh, the decision to select, hire, or manage any of these independently owned is the sole responsibility of you, the end user or customer, right? Um, and yet, yet, but we're sitting here, you know, saying that they're a top partner pro. Uh, it seems like on one hand, the lawyer's saying we have nothing to do, but on the other hand, we're giving them some endorsement here. So that, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I also liked, help me understand what is a uh, part pro partner, uh, but I didn't didn't like the idea of going to um, uh, a, a PDF. I didn't understand why I would want that. Um, and, uh, you know, it was, you know, okay, giving me some selection criteria here. Uh, I liked, and then um, I, I really liked the learn more um, where they, you know, really take it off, but yet it's, it's kind of like not <laughs> it's you know there's no photos here uh there are no special offers which is going to make me now want to go see well maybe somebody else does and so i'm not helping uh tipping hat and maybe not helping um uh ream because maybe i'll go well maybe train has a special offer or or carrier or something and then 
I can understand putting here, Mr. Business Owner, fill all this stuff in, but I think the um, that the odds of that them discovering this and happening are very slim. Uh, it's not bad having on here, but I wouldn't bank on that as a way to keep this up to date. So I, uh, you know, I I look at uh, you know as as Reem is doing uh, using a number of advanced features uh, and their locator like you can get from uh, uh, a locator like Bullseye, but. Um, I think then they've got a number of issues that are, let's say, reducing the effectiveness of those advanced features. So I would, uh, I'm, I'm going to score them uh, an 8.9. So there, 8.9 for Ream. So I hope you've uh, learned something from this as, uh, as uh, I learned something from every one of these I do and start to see some uh, trends and things that to me are most effective versus least effective and if you'd like me to review your site please let me know and uh, otherwise uh, i hope you uh, have learned something here and we will talk to you next week